the vast majority of strikes that you're going to field or, or deal with on a street from an untrained fighter is going to be a big swooping hook. Okay? Some people call it the haymaker versus a quick boxer's hook. I'm going to give two different ways to actually deal with the hook. So if we could. The first thing we want to talk about is, one, there are no blocks in Wing Chun. The moment you block something, you're actually chasing his hand. I don't want to chase his hand. I want to chase his center. So if he throws a punch and I chase that hand here and I'm facing and I'm trying to deal with this, the next one comes through and I'm in trouble. So instead, one of the theories that we use in Wing Chun is simultaneous attack and defense. Now we can talk about leading centers or, or knowing what line to attack in a different video. We're going to start with a standard right hook. As he comes in, I punch forward as I cover this line of attack. The entire idea is to that the straight line is going to be faster and more efficient than a curve line coming in at me. This takes the power away from the opponent. The second is, as he steps in with that hook, I just go forward. Even if I'm not covering that line and I'm going from center to center, I'm able to stop my opponent before it hits. Something to point out. If he does hit, so we're going to go really slow on this one. Let's say he's throwing the hook and I make contact here. I'm going to be taking away the structure. I may get hit during this. Or if he throws it, realistically, I could still get hit here. It could come through and clip me. But if he is moving backwards, I'm stopping his momentum and I'm taking the power away from that punch, even if he is able to make a minor contact with it. So that is one answer to dealing with a hook uh, using both simultaneous attack and a bucell and a straight punch. <laughs>